go. Welcome to the August 14th meeting of the Litchfield Recreation Commission. Um, our first order of business is called order and then consideration of minutes from the previous meetings. Can you get those? Yep, I sent them. Um, actually, when Pete sent out his. Yeah, I'm on vacation, so I haven't been paying attention. I snuck back. Um, August what's that? August 8th. You guys all saw him, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, there we go. Somebody want to make a motion on them? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting, which was for July 10th, was it? 10th, yes. Yes. July 10th. Any, um, so we have a second? A second. Second. Any discussion about the minutes? All no, right. We're good. All in favor say it's aye. A quick meeting. Aye. 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 All right. Opposed? Abstain. Motion carries 401. Second item is public input. Not sure who was here first, but who would ever like to go first? They, they went to let you a little library. They, um, they want to, you know, they'll do a presentation. I added it to the end of the agenda. Oh, it's on the agenda? Yeah, but I, I, since they're here, you might. Do I was going to say, why don't we do it? We can do it now. We don't have to come on up. Put them through the whole Have a seat. Agenda. Let us know your name and where you're from in town. Okay. Well, thank you. So their original request was for the end of um, Fallon Drive. Well, well, go ahead. Let, let I know what's going on. So let everybody else know what's going on. <laughs> That was the, the primary location that we kind of felt, we kind of looked into it more and we talked to Brent and input from last night to tell him it seemed like the better option. Okay. It does look and seem like it, so. So. Do you want to hear her presentation? Fire away, girl. Good evening. My name is Evelyn Carey, and this fall I will be a third grader at Griffin Memorial School. I would like to bring a little free library to Litchfield to inspire reading and share books with our community. It will be close to $60 to create and set up. We would like to put in near the Selmile sign at the, at the park. Entrance. It will impact the town's official only through the permission to create a hole for the post and set up the structure. The library works by having anyone walk by the area welcome to open the doors and take a book. We fill, we will fill a wait. We will place a bookmark in each book noting take a book, pass it along. We will fill the box with books appropriate for children and adults. Nothing controversial. controversials or censored will be included. The books will be obtained, obtained through donations and positively, wait, Positive. possibility extra from library. If anyone wants to donate, they can bring to our home or meet us. My family and I will maintain the box by checking on it a couple of times each week. We will maintain the outward appearance to create a path to the box when necessary. Example, shoveling in winter. The little library will be registered on little littlefreelibrary.com and receive an official charted number if this one is successful. Successful. We would love to see it grow through other boxes or even into surrounding towns. I am aware of the responsibility necessary necessary for creating this structure and would appreciate the town support. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. So, original request was for. The end of Fallon Drive. Secondary request was to go with Sawmill Brook. Um, so I've received climb back down to Sawmill Brook, as it says on the printouts here. And the request is for the Rec Commission to give them the authority to place a box there. Anyone have any questions? So, <clears throat> first of all, nice job, girls. So thank, thank you. you for bringing this forward to us. This picture here is uh, next to the Sawmill sign. Is that where you intend to put yeah. it? 
All right, so that's nice and visible from the roads. That looks like a great spot, in my opinion. Yeah. So is that between the road and the sign? The way the no, it's if you look. It's on the other side. The road and the tennis courts, basically. Okay, so it's more in. Right. So you're standing yeah. closer to the tennis courts. Yep. Everyone is okay. And we figured that way, if people wanted to pull in, yep. I mean, we've seen a lot of them. And there's one like one of the pictures there is from one that she visits almost every day when we're down on Cape Cod. Okay. So if people are walking by the path, they can see it. Mm -hmm. Or if they need to pull in, they have access. That's not going to block anyone right off of. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think that's a great location. I almost would like to see it closer to the roadway. Not the, mm. not the Albuquerque, but closer to our driveway coming in. Well, I, but I like, I guess, Heather's idea about, so that you can pull it, you're going to pull in, yep. you're going to get out of your car, and you're going to walk over and, and take a book. I mean, kids can walk down the bike path, I guess, and grab a book too. Right. But instead of having people pull off the side of the road right there, they can actually pull in to well, sawmill. I, I, I love that. I love the, the distance in off of Albuquerque, but I think it probably should go closer to the driveway itself. You're pretty far away from the driveway at that point, about 25, so you're 30 in between feet. between the driveway and the signage? Okay, yeah. not closer to the road, in oh, between the driveway and the signage. Closer okay. to the driveway. Not, I, I love the distance off of Albuquerque. Okay. That's fine. I think people will be able to see it coming down the road. But just thinking of people okay, so and the way, and the way they the behave, sorry. probably closer to the driveway gotcha. a little bit. Across the snow there, I mean, do we, we don't follow that. No, we do no, not. We don't. So it's going to be, there'll be some work. So we'll send the boys down to do that. <laughs> we, we, we do plow the um, pet bike path. So the distance from the bike path to um, to the box right. will be where you want to go. Um, we I might talk to Jack and see if we can get a little sweep in too. I mean, yeah, one, yeah, one, we, quick, we quick one quick down. turn in might not hurt. Like um, give somebody parking. some place to place to park to continue mm -hmm. to use it. I got to talk to Jack this week anyway. So. Oh, I guess that's not going to happen. You're supposed to move rocks for me. I guess that's not going to happen either. <laughs> All right. Um, somebody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion. Um, I'll make a motion for, is it Evelyn? Yeah. Evelyn Carey to build a Litchfield Little Library, I guess, on the corner of Sawmill Brook Park. And any... I'll second the motion. Okay, great. Any further discussion on this? Just one quick question to the board. Was it um, Marissa Fluitt? Didn't she propose something similar? She to did. This? She mentioned that I want to say a good year ago. Yeah, they were talking about doing something at at uh, Dara, but it never. So hopefully, took off. maybe maybe she'll see this and it'll be good because then maybe they can do another one on right. the south end of town. But right. it's the same. It's funny when we first saw it. I she mentioned it, and I mentioned it to my mom, and my mom's like, "Oh, at Dara," and I was like, "I was thinking Sawmill," but so that's funny. Reach yeah, she talked about doing it at Dara, but I don't think it ever took off. I don't. No. I, I don't recall seeing anything there. So, um, any discussion? Are you going to need help building the box? Um. Yeah, I'll probably ask. Probably my dad or my mom, or her. Okay. <laughs> or <the brothers. laughs> All right. yeah. That's a great. Any further discussion? When do you plan on having it built? Um, um, hopefully within the next two weeks. Okay. Great. Perfect. Anything else? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Six zero zero. Good luck. It will be Thank great. So I'll be looking much. forward Can't to it. Can't wait to send my kids there. Nice Thank job you. Doing Get a book. <laughs> Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Would you like to come up? I'm just here to observe. You're here to yep. observe. Perfect. All right. Help me out there, Andy. Where are we, where are we next? I'm find my notes. Uh, facility request. We had the one LMS. The LMS had a field request coming through. Yes. Uh, we got a. Application from Best and Gallus. Oh, nice. yeah, nice. Use of our fields. Let's see if they have a better soccer coach. Does anyone have any comments or a motion they'd like to make on it? No. Anybody not receive it? No, I saw, I saw it. it. I saw it. Um, trying to remember. It was just, yeah. Mike, any issues from your end? Uh, I don't think so. It's the same that they've always. Yeah, it was just Roy, it was just Dara, Roy Memorial. Yep. yep. And Innes. Innes. Yeah. Starting yeah. next week and running through the end of October. Yeah. It's yeah. the same. It's the yep. same as Same been. as always. Yeah. There was just, I can't remember what it was about the school, but that's, yeah, I don't remember that 
being an issue. Now, they're using DARA, right? Right. And now I know in the past, the whole lining of the field at DARA. Right. It's also Scott, Scott it is. We're Memorial and Scott it is. Right. right. They alternate. Yep. But they play all the games at Ennis. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if. They played games last year at Dara. Dara. I mean, at Dara. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. Uh, they practice at Ennis, and at least right. one team practices in Ennis, right? One practices it. I don't know how it's handled this year. Yeah. Last year, last year most of the practices were all at Dara. So. Um, so I just be curious, and is that net repaired, the one that was broken? Yeah, that's also. Um, I guess the only request we have is who's we're not going to line it. It's not going. No, they line, they're, they're supposed to line it. The right. School lines. The school lined it last year. Okay. For the most part. I'm fine with it then. Absolutely. Anybody want to make a motion towards it? I'll make a motion to approve LMS requests for uh, Scott Ennis Field and Roy Memorial Park for soccer for the fall season. Second. Got a second? Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries 600. I'll notify Beth now. That's done. All business tobacco policy. Yeah, so I, just, I put this on here, just sort of going back, and I know we missed a couple of meetings, mm -hmm. but um, where it was last left off, um, I was looking to see if we could have a tobacco-free policy at our parks, but then suggested that maybe bring to Suckman for all town properties to make it across the board, because that would just be kind of one easy, simple policy. So I just wanted to see if there was an update on that at all. Um, Did you bring it to the Suckman? No, I think Kurt was going to bring it. To oh, Kurt them. was going to bring it. Uh, <laughs> As the official liaison. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Was he at the meeting? That was my recollection, but I I, back my recollection there. isn't one hundred percent. So, um, I mean, I can come. Would I can come speak to at a um, or a second meeting at some point to. Yeah, I, can see, I can have him put on the next agenda too. It'll be uh, uh, next meeting. So I'm happy to attend that, to speak to it. Um, am I okay to say on behalf of the rec that it's kind of a recommendation yeah. that we just have a blanket policy of tobacco free, so clear and makes sense? So. Any objection to that? No, I just don't recall. I don't recall if Kurt was at that meeting. I don't think he was there for some reason. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. Yeah. It was a while ago. Yeah. So it may not have. I do. I recall the discussion, and we could. We actually have minutes. We can go yeah. back and look at minutes. Probably says Peter was going to reach out to Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> he says Peter was going to reach out to Kurt. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, we have minutes for a change. We can actually look back. Um, okay. Now we got next step. So okay. close. Thank you. All right. That one moves off then. Then we got new business. Next one, Christmas in Litchfield. So, I mean, I think it's kind of a liaison with the Christmas in Litchfield committee, which is kind of a ad hoc volunteer group that's come to um, – wants to put together tree lighting in town and we brought it forward a couple of meetings ago. Um, so they're requesting to be brought in under uh, the rec committee as official, you know, um, committee, or whatever that would allow them to access the revolving fund um, as they're going to start having some expenses and fundraising in the next couple of months. So, you know, they're small operations. So that, that would be the simplest thing to do uh, plus cover them for the event. So um, I want to bring that forward as a request on their behalf. See, so, and you're going to be, the running liaison? running at the liaison for the rec? Yeah, yeah. So okay. um, um, I'm helping on that part in particular. Yeah. So they, um, I don't know when they last met, but um, you know, they're obviously going to ramp up here in the next couple of months. So I'm fine to serve as the point of contact between the two and do whatever I need for uh, the revolving fund piece. Now this was a tree lighting event, right? Did they did they settle in on a date? I yeah. don't believe so, okay. but I'm not, I, I don't know. Um, their last update, so I haven't seen anything else. Date and location was still up in the air last time I heard, right? Yeah. Location is yep. still not yep. definitive. Um, I mean, I guess it's just like the Winterfest or the football game or anything we yep. run here. As long as a rec commission member is involved in it, then 
Well, the set up a side committee to that. The other thing that we found out with um, the basketball with Jason Cullum this year is uh, Troy was adamant that we needed to have people fill out volunteer forms. So, like, anybody that's on that committee would need to fill out a volunteer form for the town and submit that to the town. Even if they're not doing anything with kids? Yes, because it's yeah. a volunteer thing, especially okay. where there's the money issue. You're going to have collecting money, spending money. Um, so the form's just with Troy or with um, yes. Cameron or something? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'll reach out to Troy to get the forms or anything else I need for that to happen. I think it was all part of all part. It was all part of the insurance thing. Yeah. When we talked about the insurance thing, about committees that were under us and everything, everyone had to be a town. You, you had to fill out the town volunteer form, and, be a, and it's be a one-time a thing. It's not an annual volunteer. thing. So if the people stay on, they're they're registered as volunteers. Okay. Um, Interesting. All right. What was that next one then? Uh, so, can I get an official motion on this to include them as a committee of the rec, or if that's the right term? Yeah, um, I don't know if we have to. No. I don't. What is the policy? If they are, and, if in they the are past, right. we haven't had to do anything like that. No. If you're, if you're, yeah, no, if you're running that. something, and the, well, we have to form the committee. Though we would have to name, yeah, a committee from us, or the, they'd have to have a structure of the committee. So I guess what we're so probably we didn't, we didn't do a structure on the Winterfest. No. We just take it away. Right. We assigned it to one member and said you're our liaison to this and any one of our members can join it and as well as anyone you bring from the outside. Now but we had to now vote, we had to vote to form the committee. It wasn't a committee. Six years ago. And I don't, I mean, we can yeah. vote. That's, I'm easy. That's easy too, but I'm, I'm not sure. But where, we didn't have a formal structure. It really wasn't a formal yeah. structure. It was just Keith and Keith found people to help. <laughs> right. So. I mean, if you're good by me, just serving as the liaison, and that allows them to be officially underneath us because I'm the right. bridge between the two. I'm good by that if everyone else You're is. You're our lead to that group. All right. At that point. But okay. At that point, but shouldn't we be, shouldn't we be, formalizing it, saying they're a subcommittee, they have now have access to the revolving fund. And because in, in terms of that, we're giving out are we giving numbers them, and are we giving them access to the revolving fund or is the revolving fund which already has access for Peter, is that is that him in access? Just like Keith was the access point for the revolving fund for the Winterfest group. And there was what, thirty or forty volunteers the first year with that. Yeah, I'd give us I'd say a dozen. Yeah. Felt like more than that. <laughs> it's a lot of a lot of hands. I'm just thinking in terms of how everything has been falling. So if you're saying Mike the whole from here forward, the, if you're saying from here forward, we should put something we should, in place. Okay. Realistically, when we're, then, we're you know, I mean, we're talking about then let's the implement the policy. Yeah. It's not as much of us as more the insurance policy and how people are being covered under that, which is why everyone has to fill out the volunteer form now. You have to kind of be brought under the umbrella. So we should formalize a subcommittee of the Red Commission saying, you know, the the you know, Christmas Christmas in Litchfield is a subcommittee of the Red Commission and yes. have access to if we want a more formal structure, which I think we're trying to get to yeah. as a committee, right. yep. then yeah. Then let's yeah. So we're gonna make a motion then? So I'll make a motion to um, incorporate uh, Christmas in Litchfield as a subcommittee of the recognition. And no. uh, sorry, keep going. Give them access to uh, the revolving fund through our liaison. And our liaison is going to be Peter. I'll second that motion. All right. Now, Discussion. Yep. Go ahead. Um, do we need to know who the members are? Is it only Peter? That we care about, or do we need I, to know? I would say it's good to know the members. Like with basketball, um, with the literal summer basketball, Jason Combs has been able to bring the money into and deposit the money for the revolving fund. So just because we want them, we want them to know who's going to be coming mm -hmm. in, depositing money, who's going to be submitting forms for payment. If I mean, if it's going to be you, great. Uh, but if it's going to be other people, I think that they should know who they are, so they don't just don't have people showing up with with money and yeah I, I, I think we need the names no matter what if we're going to have to have them fill out volunteer forms yeah that's true. Have to yeah. yeah yeah that way we can check it off with the volunteer forms make right. sure that they're so if we get the volunteer forms that allows each of one of those members to access the revolving fund so they don't have to add me as a step in that process that well then by access you mean deposit 
Right. Then yeah. none of them is allowed to withdraw. No, you would always you would always bring the money to Karen White. Yep. And then you will always ask Karen White to pay bills. Okay. You're not going to really be able to like manage anything. I mean, whatever you bring in, you will have the ability to have access to, but you will not have any direct access to it. So everything would go through Karen, basically. Right, but who can approve the bills to be paid by Karen? It has to go through us, yeah, right? It would have to be Pete because okay. he would be the okay. liaison. So, yeah. so yeah, you have to make a point. One person, you know, the other point person. Okay. Uh, Margaret will probably bring you invoices or money or whatever, and then yep. you just you know submit them with Karen Wayne. Right? Okay. She'll take care of them. All right. And she'll do it by email or phone too with you. It's not a hard process. Okay. We got a motion in a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Six. I need to raise your hand, right? Yeah. Okay. Six zero zero. <laughs> Calling blocked you out. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Next item. The well, budget. I wanted to know if we could step through the budget. Can we get through the budget? S step through the budget. 2019. I don't know if we have time tonight. I I, I looked at Did everyone look at it already? I looked at it. Okay. So I looked at it. Um, I noticed, I don't know if we want to bring it up, but I just noticed there was, I think it was $6,500 that they took out. And I didn't know where that was. I don't, have you looked at it, John, yet? No. Okay. So there's. Because I, 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 I asked input for this meeting because I've got to get with Troy over the next few weeks okay. to prepare a meeting for September that we can go line by line through with stuff. So it's, it's, if I looked at it correctly, it looks like it's the same budget as last year, less, I think it's $6,500. And I couldn't tell. I thought it was out of the maintenance. We had encumbered five thousand dollars in fees from the year before. Would, would you be reading it as? as I, that? I just saw a negative sixty-five hundred, and it was right above. Um, I thought it was right above. Oh, was it landscaping? It is the budget. Trying to get the line from 810 about the report. What's that? No, sorry. I mean, everything else looked the same. And that was my only question was that because we had we had it in there for a reason then. So I was just surprised to see them take it out. So I don't know what we what maybe there was a reason why we needed sixty five hundred dollars. Um, but it, it was removed for this year's budget. Well, again, we, we did the, I don't know, like I said, maybe the 5,000 was encumbered uh, for, was it for pay, oh, painting the back of the it? Or was it for song? We didn't want to be on So it. we're at the very We did $5,000 for the River Access Committee. Okay, that's it. So very, is it, um, are you on the final one? I don't know where that would be. Uh, oh, there we are, yeah. So if you can... Scroll down. Um, yeah, you scroll across. So if you scroll down, you'll see our budget is 6,000 less than last year. And I don't know, it's on one of these line items that was 6,000 6, was removed. Well, oh, there, there it is. Yep. But you have to go across. And it's, field yeah. Maintenance. Field, so we had field maintenance. Okay. So we have a chance to look at it, John. We do. We, have, we I haven't had a chance to look at no, it. No, so we, we do have a chance to look yep. at it. And I'm just, I don't know what we had it in there for, but it was removed. So. We had built in a cushion in our field maintenance for exceptional items such as broken sprinkler heads, okay. et cetera, et cetera. Do we still want to keep it in there though? Well, we put it in there because of our historically we've been spending that money. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how they could yank it out from last year's budget to this year's budget if right. they don't know what we finally spent on this year's budget. I'd have to ask Troy that question. Okay. Um, Tro Troy created what's on here. Yes, right uh, yeah, I did yeah, not. I figured. It, it used to go that I would send Troy one and then Troy would respond and try and change whatever he felt was necessary. But this one he created and sent it out to us. Right. 
and it's, I mean, it's pretty much the same. I think it's the same um, budget as last year, less than six. Well, one of the questions that I, when I sent it out was, you know, please let me know if you have any additions that you'd like to put in okay. here, any expenses you see coming forward. Um, I sent Troy some information about painting town hall yeah, so because at one point yeah. that was going to be done possibly by volunteers. Um, his response was, you know, get, get with a quote. professional painter, yeah. painter and find out what's going on. Yeah. Um, that inf I just got that email. So that information would add into this if we're going to go and spend the money and have somebody professionally do this as opposed to volunteers. And same thing um, with painting the, um, the lines on the basketball court, right? Because that's going to be in this, this coming year's budget. Right. Well, we, we thought it was supposed to, to do it. We got to be able to do it before. It should be in December. 2000. But it looks like expense this year. It's already in the yeah. budget. It is already bit, but yeah. I wonder if we're yeah, going to only 5,000 in the budget this year, right? I can't remember. I, I didn't bring my laptop with me. It's been acting up, so I didn't bring What it was me. the cost you had on that? I think the cost that Troy had come up with was like 9,800, was it? Yeah. So when do we need this to him? Yesterday? No, the first meeting in September. Meeting in September. Okay. I need to have some final numbers to okay. be able to get with him. And I'll try to have some more details by on my own. So I, mm -hmm. I have actually looked at his budget and where September it goes. 10th, September 10th. September 10th. To, okay. Um, and again, we can zip it back and forth with emails with all of us too to to look at different mm -hmm. items of people have things going across. Right. Right. Well, you know, I mean, you got river access, that's going to add a little bit because I think we're paying to mow that now. Right. So that's going to river access will be a new expense. Towards what? Towards the landscaping. No. So, well, We've been we'll, we'll, we'll jump off, off category here, but I'm not sure what we'd be, Doing down there for landscape. Who's been? Who's been? Well, who's been mowing it? Has, has one of the one of the errors in the setup of the river access was the stones were placed off of the roadway. They were supposed to be placed on the roadway. Um, Troy told me he'd get Jack to move the stones. The ones I haven't moved. I've I've been moving them manually. Yeah. Um, slow process, but I've been sliding them out there manually and getting them on the roadway. Once they're all on the roadway, there is no need to mow that. It's never been mowed. That whole area has no need for us to care for it outside the rocks or the parking lot or the walk path. And most of the river access members agreed that the longer that grows, the better off we are because people will choose not to go down into places we don't want them to. We, we don't want people to have access to the farm by jumping over, you know, through the rocks and heading out. So grow away. Um, go crazy. Let it let it become the field it's supposed to be. It won't impact the access point at all. The poison ivy is dying anyway. That got sprayed. Or Sorry about the poison ivy dying because again, that would keep people where they're supposed to be, or yeah. most people. Um, I, uh, I'm off topic, but while we're on the river access, I got an email today that somebody drove down there um, two days ago. Yeah. Drove between the gate oh, and yeah. the guardrail all the way to the river. Got stuck. Had to be towed out of there. Two of the river access committee members went down there. The police department, I think the fire department was down there as well as the tow truck. Um, gentleman was a longtime resident of Litchfield. No reason to go into who um, or much of the details other than the fact he made a big mistake. He thought that it was okay to drive through there even though there was less than an inch on each side of his car to get between the gate and the and the posts on the rail side and again when i built the gate the goal was to create a gate with emergency access in mind noting that a mini cooper can get through anything as large as a canoe can get through and the goal was to be able to let people carry canoes through so there's no way i could set a gate up large enough to prevent vehicles from going through and still allow good canoe and kayak access um, but all of the signage had not come in yet um, one of the signs says right on it, emergency access vehicles only beyond this point. That hadn't been put up on that sign because he didn't see that. He felt it was okay to drive down there. Um, got himself in a pickle and a whole, whole bunch of problems along with that. No property damage, no anything damage. Uh, just a, an embarrassed man that 
got way, way in over his head um, at that point. Other than that, the usage of that, again, has been on that soft opening that we created a few weeks ago, allowing people to get down there. Uh, at least four of the members of the River Access Committee have been um, consistently down there, um, just checking up on people, talking to people, talking about the rules, and we really have had no issues. The only thing that came up was fishing and whether that's allowed down there or not. The group came back and said it was not discussed originally that fishing would be for forbidden to be done, done down the river down there. I don't even know how we could control or why we would want to forbid fishing down there because pretty much this river access is giving people access to fish with canoes and kayaks down there. That was the purpose of it. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's, it's river access. It's river yeah. access. It sounds really good. Um, we Obviously, one of the neighbors had some concerns um, towards having people fishing down there, but the concerns fall in the same category as if someone who's fishing in a canoe and a kayak yeah. in, this, in the same manner as people down license, the shore. Right? I nice. think fishermen in most cases are very responsible it will help us keep able to maintain the place by standard lines for people i've met down there i've met probably 25 or 30 kayakers canoers and fishermen down there is they've asked if they can help and i've said yes you can help the rec commission by keeping the area clean and letting us notify notifying us if there's any issues coming out there um, my phone number is on the website and you know call me direct and many of them i already knew but you know just the whole point is this is a town thing. We, we take care of it as a town. Um, and I've met some people in town I've never met before, which is always kind of fun. Um, that young, your group. The younger group. group. <laughs> I'm not sure about young, but. <laughs> um, I jumped jumped off of the river access because it was brought up, but any questions on what's going on with that? No, so it's officially okay. open and running and. We have not had a grand opening. We right, will right, over right. the next few weeks Stop. at some point. Um, I don't, have you seen the sign? I did. It looks really nice. Sign. I love the sign. It's, it's um, huge. Much bigger than the other signs we have in town. Like, wow. Yeah, it and it says Litchfield residents only. Yeah, there's a few of those along the way uh, going in as well. If you oh, drive right down there, there's not, right as soon as you enter the parking lot, there's another Litchfield residents only sign. And at the back of the parking lot, I'm the, the main rule sign says Litchfield um, residents only. We were, we're trying to be pretty clear and specific about that. Um, we'll see how it all goes. All right. Just, um, Andy, was there a, I'm sorry, I have an email here from Leah. From, yeah, I, guess, I asking. emailed her back. Okay, good. I thought I had sent an email. I'll talk about when we get there. What are we up uh, to? Pavilion, Sawmill. No, no, this is, this is, this is, um, Leah, it looks like with basketball. You know, I'm talking about. He's the, following the agenda. Oh, I'm sorry. So you're good, we're good with Leah? Yeah. I don't need to, okay. Sawmill Pavilion. Sawmill for the Pavilion. So, um. Soccer would like to build a pavilion at Samo um, for use, um, 20 by 30 feet, um, kind of similar to the one at Dara, uh, similar specs and everything. It's just going to be smaller than the one at Dara. Um, I know that you had questions about where it was going. Um, so if you drive down that, if you drive down right around the circle, as you go around the circle where the porta potty and that gate is, there's a big clearing on the other side of the emergency access road um, that it would fit in right there um, on the other side of the uh, fence. Um, and that's where I think would make sense because realistically, the only other place to really put it would be where the playground area would be, but we have no idea how big a playground it would be or any of that. So to put something there first wouldn't make any sense. So you're not talking about near the kicking wall? No. You're talking in the field area itself? No. So when you go down, there's the gate. So you're driving down. The right. So you go straight traffic. down the road. Yep. You're going around the circle. The gate's straight ahead. Correct. Inside the gate, there's the road the on the yep. on the paved road on the right-hand side of the road. Where there's kind of a hill. Where there's. Hill going up it, the woods. It's flat, and yep. then it goes up. Yeah. yeah. But the beginning is flat and clear. Yep. So right that there. beginning. That'll, that'll fit that. Flat, yeah, well, that's right good. That's where. And that's 25 30, by? 20 by 30. Uh, power? Um, there was no plan to put in power because the only power you're getting from there is you have to run it from the shed. Right. So it would just be a, it would just be there, no power. Okay. 
in the plan right now. So, so no music in, in the future. No, it's, like it's more of a, you know, something that's more of a shelter from sun, rain. Um, there's a lot of other field. I mean, even over on West Road, they have one. They have one there that's there's no power in that one. It's just to, you know, blocks from some of the elements when they um, present themselves. So, are they raising funds for it? Are they? No, we. There are funds have that have funds. been accumulating, and you know, I mean, honestly, it's like even back when, you know, the when the fields were built and soccer donated money to do it. It's always been a long term there's money in there to improve fields and things like that with sawmill already built trying to find somewhere to some productive way to use those funds and and and, and a pavilion there would be i think it was a really good way to um use them so. this year next year combination um honestly as soon as there's a i mean it was i think they want to do it i i think the contractor has time to do it this year. So um, if if it's approved, we just move ahead with the process and try to get it in there before the end, before the snow comes. Let me make a motion. Um, motion to allow the Litchfield Youth Soccer League to build a 30 by 20 pavilion at Sawmill, at Litchfield Park at Sawmill Park. I'll second the motion. Um, approval, obviously, by who, who's ever running the building inspection yeah, department right. now. Um, and are you going to do it based on the same style that we have down? Pretty much the same style, yeah. That's what they. That's what the specs were. That's what the comparison was used to for um, the estimate and everything. So. Picnic tables or no picnic tables? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. They'll probably come at some point, okay. is my guess. Um, there's no, sure. pond, there's no pond to toss them in, so that's yeah. <laughs> the other thing I would suggest, too, because I was thinking we can get them for a couple of different places in town. I got one from my house. Those um, The solar um, floodlights. Have mm -hmm. you seen those? Yep. The ones with the separate panel so you can put it wherever you want. Yep. Those things throw off a ton of light, and it's nice because you can just throw them up anywhere as long as you can tap some sunlight. Mm -hmm. And I think some of the cords are like 15, 20 feet, so as long as you can get something just so you have it out there and right. you know it's something that we should probably put like in the shed down at Dara so that we have some light in there at night um, but we could probably do some of those just so you guys have because I know the one at the pavilion there has some mm -hmm. Dara has some lighting yeah would just be good just so that if you get kids down there or people down there at night so the solar stuff yeah it'll pop the lights on any further discussion all in favor say aye that's great aye, aye. aye. Ocean Carry six zero zero, build away. Love new stuff, down. Just to get back to the, <laughs> our minutes taker is watching, and uh, he checked the June minutes, right. and it was Peter to contact Kurt. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> so you're off the hook, Kurt. It's on me. I have to excuse myself. I had another. I didn't think this would go that long, and he's. Coach A is going to take over. All right, and we'll get this done nice quickly. I've seen all of you. And we'll get it done quickly. It's even better. I'll catch you all on TV. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so the next item is the Talent Hall Fall Schedule. Um, and I thought I had sent a notice out to the group. Um, I had got no emails because what I'd asked everybody, all the groups to do is send an email with their requests for the fall mm -hmm. so we can sort of know what we have going in. And I didn't get any emails. So I'm like, well, there's no requests. There's no sense to me go over those requests. Uh, so there's no, there are there's, no formal requests. There's nothing from Pickleball. Well, Pickleball always waits. They don't put okay. a request in. They just kind of wait and see what everybody else has got, and then they, okay. they go in. So. So at this point, Andy, if there have been no formal requests, then there comes a request. I mean, we just. We just meet. Yeah. Okay. It's really. I mean, the only time we really need it is winter. the winter, right. and then the be the beginning That's of spring. Right. Those are the two times when, that when people are forced indoors. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, I did see. I did see the email about the the, the uh, meeting. Uh, basketball court painting. You guys saw the email from Troy. Mm -hmm. So I guess it was my. There was all confusion on this. I thought it was. We thought it was actually under in the in the process. Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll need to get two other quotes. Um, Keith sent Keith me that company. Me, yeah. I'll, I'll try and get a hold of them. See if I can get it. See if I can get somebody else to get a quote so we can get that 
um, in the process. Now, Kurt, if we budget it for this calendar year, but don't get it done until next year, we can encumber that those funds for next year. Okay. I'm just at this point, it's going to get late in the season, and I don't know if we want to paint it. You know, we'll talk to them and find out when the best time is to paint well, it. Trees in the area, get it. Um, right. Yeah, I mean, it, it, just because we changed our purchasing policy too. You know, we thought that we did, we'll just do it once, but now we need those three bids. Okay. Um, so we'll get that. Um, equipment policy. And I think that was what I put in there because I saw oh, yeah, the, the meeting that I missed. They basketball wanted to put in, they quoted and said the nice hoops. Right. Um, my concern, and this was the, my discussion with the basketball board when they first proposed it last year is those take a lot of maintenance. The nice new hoops, they will get damaged, they will get warped, they will need maintenance on a regular basis. I don't wanna see them saying, hey, this is great, we're gonna put this $5,000 basketball backboard in, but then when there's damage, now we're looking at a four or $5,000 repair because we're gonna to have to replace it. Whereas what we have there now, are in every single park in the country. I mean, I don't know. Personally, I I just don't. I know it's great. That they want to donate this money, and people are going to say we're saying no if we say no to something that they're willing to put in. But if they're willing to put it in, and then they're willing to sign some type of I don't know, not a bond, but a a contract that they're responsible for any and all repairs, then I'd be more likely to say yes. But short of that. I mean, but I think we already have that in place with when when leagues do something, and we've 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 already set a precedent. I think saying it falls upon the league to do the repairs. Right, but that's specifically for their equipment. This is something that so we we had the issue. Well, it's their equipment too. I mean, they're not. I mean, they're putting it just like the softball fields. I mean. LGSL has put up a lot of the fencing and stuff, but I think if something were to happen to the dugout, it falls into LGSL to repair it. I don't think it, I don't think it would be the right, but um, recognitions. And it's used by the town. Yeah. I mean, this saying. this is something that's a little different because this is more of a this is something that's going to get general use. It is going to get general use. Um, and I know like there was the issue, and it was with the previous administration of the softball board. Um, when we had the, there was a break in at the, in the snack shack and the door was destroyed. And they said, well, it's the Rex shed. You guys need to repair it. And there was a big back and forth, um, you know, because technically once something goes on rec property, it is town rec property. We are responsible for the maintenance of that. Um, so it's, it's something I think we need to come up with so that we're not, I mean, I don't want to be paying for equipment that's a permanent fixture. Yeah. There. Uh, well, when you brought it up to them at the board meeting, did they were they agreeing? Did they agree to maintain it? This was a couple of years ago. Oh, this okay. was like a oh, year okay. and a half ago when they first brought it up. Um, so, I mean, I don't know where the discussion went from their request. Well, John and I, I think we're the only two here. Were you here? I think it was just that last meeting. It was very, it was just John and I here. Okay. And we just gave um, Jim, it was Jim Rice, and it's going to be Nick um, Delia because he's, I think they're going to put the concrete footers in. Nick Delia's going to do the concrete footers. Jim, Jim Rice um, said they were purchasing them. They gave us the quote, and John and I both said we, we would not prevent – a league from spending their own money on, on equipment. Okay. So is it in the process of being done or it's probably in the process of being done? I wish John was here because we didn't, um, we gave them, I guess, the go ahead. Okay. Cause I, I mean, maybe I'll, I'll contact them because we can vote on it, but I would like to stop. I mean, I think we're into, we're, we're creating something that could be a, a problem down the road because that's something that's going to take a lot of maintenance and it's going to take, um, 
if they don't have the funds and they walk away from it. Do the do these hoops or back boys and all stuff come with a, some sort of warranty? Yeah, but it's not a warranty if a kid's hanging on it. No. Or they spray paint it. Yeah. Um, we're on the hook for it. Right. Hey, listen, these are outside, right? Yes. These are outside. So they're they're, they're save the old ones. Right. No, yeah. but they're going to, from what it sounds like, if they're putting new footings in, they're going to cut the pipes off and oh, those things are coming down. Oh, right. um, no, they, it didn't sound like they were taking the pipe piping down, but. They have they to. If they're going to put the, if they're going to put a cement footing John in. John made it sound like he was like, yep, those will come up pretty easily. Easy. I thought John said they'll come up pretty easy. No, they won't come up pretty easy. I wish John was here. Yeah, those are those are. In well, there. we can watch it. It's on video. We can watch the right the uh, meeting. I wish we knew this before we paid them. <laughs> you know, of course. Yeah. Promise they're going to be cutting out. You know. Yeah. And I mean, in the case that we bought a paint in the lining, that you know, we, we just paid it. Now we're looking at trying to hurry up and get it lined potentially. I mean, if they're going to go in there with pipe saws and cut the asphalt and stuff, or how are they going to do it? Do we even bother do we want to, or do we wait? Do we want to reach out to Jim Rice? Yeah, I'll reach out. I mean, John, I John obviously knows Jim. Said he, has his con he said he had his contact info. Do you have Jim's contact info? I can get all okay. of them, yeah. So they seem to be on the same wavelength. They were, And John just said we wouldn't prevent them from spending their own money. So you brought up a point, though, about any – fixed structure on town property. So the pavilion that we just talked about, same kind of thing, right? Because there's a fixed asset that's being donated, but it's technically town property after that, right? Like right. There's no ownership legally or uh, financially to the organization that made the donation to create them, Correct. right? So at the end of the day, it really is the town's responsibility um, right. to I mean, fix it, but we don't have to. I mean, that's the other thing. Is well, we do if it's... What, what happens is, so if something becomes damaged and then it's, it's a danger and it has to come down or it has to be repaired, yep. it's on us. Right. Well, we say that, but then those inside hoops in town, we just made LRBL pay for and repair. Right, because the other option was we would just take them down. Correct. So, so that would be the other, I mean, is that the option? Do we just say- Right, but I mean, now we're going to be taking, now, now if we do that, then we say, oh, they're damaged that it can't be repaired. It's going to cost too much to repair. We're going to take them down. Now we don't have basketball hoops anymore. We, we have four basketball hoops that I don't see an issue with needing to replace them. I'm not a basketball person, so I don't know. Jim, Jim gave, when he presented, he, it was about the, I don't know, something about the backboards and the rim and they weren't good. He said they weren't good. So no. that's, I mean, if they have money to spend and they want to improve the courts, they can help with painting. They can help. I mean, we reached out to them when we went down to paint because we had to, to line it. We looked, we asked them to help with uh, paying for that. The, um, the actual labor of doing it, look, trying to put up fencing, a guardrail fencing to protect it. Um, and haven't gotten any, re re had not received anything back from them. Now we want to put new hoops up there. I think what we need to do is let's take care of what we got there now. Um, and I'll talk to them and um, maybe have them come to another meeting. To another meeting yeah. before they get, I'll just, I mean, basically we can't give them approval to put it in there and we'd have to go through the billing inspector anyway. They'd have to, um, he'd have to go in and make sure that the footings are, are proper and, everything before that can go up. So we do have a building inspector. I mean, he works Tuesdays and Thursdays. So it is, you know, there's a guy out there. So. Yeah. What's his contact info? Do you have it? Yeah, it'll be through town hall, Donna. Okay. Um, she has it. You know, it's just like now it's getting to be more like, like when I asked for a building inspection in Manchester, it takes a week to 10 days for me to get an inspector out there. And, you know, now that we're on a Tuesday, Thursday thing, you might have to wait till, Thursday, if you call on Tuesday. Whereas in the past, we've had all, somebody full time, and they would shoot right out and take a look at what you need to look at. So, uh, you know, it's just it's just a matter of planning when you need your inspections. And, you know, easy enough. So, you going to be around in January and February when there's no heat and talent? 
when those little ones are showing up and they're freezing their butts off. Yeah. And we called. We used to be able to call Kevin and he'd be right there to fix it. Then that's going to stink. Yeah. All right. So, so we're supposed to get a study on a new heating system there too. We never did get that. No. Drag that out. It never happened. Yeah. All right. That was it for new, unless anybody has any other business. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm getting another update. Okay. So I have another update about the Jim Rice thing. Okay. Um, thank you, Matt. Okay. Jim Rice representing LRBL. Jim, Jim brought the price quote uh, to upgrade the Dara uh, Pond outdoor basketball courts, the price to replace the court. Each basketball uh, hoop, I guess, is 30, 3150 so it was going to be 6200 for the pair, um, the four hoops. Nick Delia will take the lead. He will make sure everything is done to code. The basketball hoops are four uh, season hoops with temp tempered glass. LRBL will pay for the replacement of the basketball hoops and concrete. No vo vote could be taken for the replacement of the basketball hoops. The vote will take place at the next meeting, August 14th. Okay. So, so we need to we need to vote on it, or should we? Well, I, I think what we should. Well, I think we should ask Jim to, to come. come back, okay, and then have a discussion with him. Because the way we left it with him, we were like, okay, we it, we gave him pretty much a positive um, response. So I'd hate to all of a sudden go back and say, hey, we just totally changed our mind. Um, so I think he should come back for a discussion. Okay. So we'll invite him back for the him and Nick, I guess, if it's Nick's gonna take the lead on the September. Oh, is it September though? Okay. I it is. All right. That's that makes it easier. So right. nothing's gonna happen. Any other business? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. We have a motion to second. All in favor? Aye. All right. So that carries five zero zero. We are adjourned. All right, now we're off the camera. Let's start. Any, did you come in?